Hello there, my name is Paul Darby from Dots Corp and in this short video I would like to show you how we would compare two PowerPoint files using CompareDocs and our latest version 4.4. What I've got on screen is obviously two PowerPoint files, uh, my original and then the modified, the one I've updated. And I want to see the differences between those. So let's just grab those two files. I can right click on them. I can, uh, from Windows, you can compare with compare docs. You have the same options in, uh, in the variety of document management systems that we integrate with. But also you can just drag and drop over the icon on your desktop, uh, etc. But let me just load these two documents into compare docs itself. So with CompareDocs 4.4, what happens now, okay, I can put those in the right order. By default, when you load two PowerPoint files in, you will have the option for PDF and the report type will default to side by side. Okay, so the side by side report, uh, PowerPoint report is the one we want. And yes, we want the detail button enabled as well. So those are the settings that we require for this report. Click compare, then you've got your options, whether you want to save the file, um, whether you want to just view the document. Essentially, it's going to be a single PDF, so all of those options are valid. Uh, so if I now hit uh, view as a new document, it will create this for me. So it runs through the, obviously, comparing the two documents, it's building up this report, and then what it's going to show me is the output. Okay, so it's generating that report now. Give it a couple of seconds, and then it will actually show that report to me. And now we have the report. So here you can see it's a single PDF. And now we've got the differences between the two slides. You can see my main presentation, my original, against my main presentation, my updated, of course, which was my modified document. And now we can work through those slides. So you can see that slide one is the same. If I drop down to slide two here, you can see that in my main presentation, the slide was there. But actually, we deleted that slide from the original. So that slide is no longer in my modified document. And the reason for that was is because I replaced it with this one. You can see slide two wasn't in the original, is now in the modified. So those two I've just simply replaced the slide. And you can see that bit of commentary down there in the details button. As I start to work through the document, you see you've got this little um, icon in the middle there. It says they're not equal. So again, we've deleted another slide. And of course, we're just working through here. These one, this in slide three to slide four in my main presentation is now correct. So I've actually deleted a slide. As we start to scroll through, we can see here, for example, uh, on this particular slide, the icons have been changed. On my office, I had a border which was changed to black. The uh, World Docs icon has been um, twisted. And of course, the Open Text and World Docs have been switched around. All of that then has been picked up in here. You can now see that slide count is matching the slides. OK, and remember, that was because we deleted the slide here. OK, so as we start to work through now, we can see that this slide is nice and equal. So everything is exactly the same. And again, for slide six, slide seven, of course, we is unequal again. So what's happened here? We have some changes. We've included some bold. We've included uh, some uh, highlights and we've changed some font in there. All of that has been picked up uh, within that particular change. So again, we scroll through this one here. We've moved the border text around. We've made the pictures bigger. You can see the pictures have changed. And again, all of that information has been picked up. So simply, we're just going through the document, comparing what's actually happened with the slides itself. OK, so as we start to work our way through, we can see the font name has changed for the, that particular sentence. So this sentence, the last one, has actually changed the font. Likewise, here we pick up on speaker notes. OK, so if your slides have got speaker notes, of course, we do track changes effectively within the document, not track changes, but marked up that way. And you can see the text has changed between slide one, uh, my original and my modified. Um, but you can see we pick that text up for you so it's easy to see. But also in the speaker notes, we've made some changes there as well. Going through this document, continuing, it's got our equals buttons. Then we get to this one here. I've included a slide here. OK, so we inserted the slide there. It wasn't in the original, of course. Uh, so that slide was uh, inserted. Now, this slide here, it is equal, but in my presentation, it's hidden. OK, so I've hidden that slide. So even though the slide is in, it's valid, it's actually shown up as hidden there. And the same with slide 17 as well. So. Simply, this report is just the new way of working here with CompareDocs. This is with CompareDocs 4.4, uh, our recent release product. 
load two PowerPoint presentations in, you have your PDF option, your side-by-side -side PowerPoint report, and your standard server. And that just enables you then just to be able to uh, compare those two, docu two documents, or those two presentations. I hope you found that useful. If you get any questions, of course, please do contact us here at DotSchool. But many thanks for your time. Thank you.